Part of aging seems to be genetically determined. When researchers study aging, they tend to work with microorganisms that live for a very short period of time. This gives them the opportunity to achieve short-term results and to study the whole period of life of these organisms. One of the organisms mostly studied by researchers is Canoraptidis elegans, a short roundworm that lives for about two to three weeks. C. elegans has a very simple genetic structure and gives researchers the opportunity to study the genetic processes in aging in a detailed way. Over the past decade, C. elegans has been one of the most studied objects in aging research. The groundbreaking work by Cynthia Canyon in 1993 that showed that a single point gene mutation could help to prolong lifespan of C. elegans for more than double was really groundbreaking work for aging research. For humans and especially for the kidney organs, the concept of genetic aging has been proven in vivo. Especially the one of the genes called clotogene seems to be responsible for the aging process in humans. It was called clotogene through the goddess or the Greek goddess of faith because it's called the spindle of life because the clotogene could be associated with aging in humans in general. Mutations of the clotogene have been shown to accelerate the aging process, especially in the kidneys. Furthermore, changes on chromosomal level occur during aging in humans. It could be shown that the end of the chromosomes who host our genetic information are built by telomeres. Telomeres, imagine, are like the end of shoelaces. And those telomeres protect the chromosomes and the genetic environment from being damaged and enables our cells to do their job. It could be shown in epidemiological studies that the shortening of those telomeres may be associated with age-related diseases, with loss of functionality and also loss of organ capacity. Increased oxidative stress, meaning a decreased ability to use oxygen, has been shown to be associated with downregulation of clotogenic as well as the shortening of telomeres in human kidneys. It has also been associated with morphopathological changes and a diminished kidney capacity to filter the primary urine. Those chromosomal and genetic variations and aging processes are further accelerated if either hormonal changes or the diminished capacity to keep up homeostasis in the human body are occurring. 